A lot of you have been asking how we promote our playlists through ads. This is how we do it. Just head over to the Meta Ads Manager. First, you'll need to start a new campaign. Now, choose your campaign objective. In this case, traffic. Give it a name and turn off Advantage Campaign Budget Plus, which used to be the campaign budget optimization. Now, set your budget. Pro tip, test different targetings and ad sets with 5 euros or dollars a day. After 24 hours, you know what works and what doesn't. Doing this can save you a lot when you start scaling the budget. When it comes to your target audience, you'll want to choose countries in which your playlist genre works best. Utilizing Spotify for artists is absolutely golden here. Leave the age and gender broad, but use detailed targeting to select multiple interests that align with your playlist like techno or minimal techno. We tend to split different targeting categories in different ad sets to determine how they're doing individually. For streaming, it's extremely important to narrow your audience further by selecting Spotify as the platform. That way, the target audience has to like techno and Spotify instead of one or the other. Switch to manual placements and choose which devices you want your ads to appear on, such as mobile and desktop. And then choose the platforms you want to run your ads on such as Instagram. We found that Reels and Stories in mobile only works best. Make sure to turn off Audience Network, which includes third-party placements like other apps. Choose an ad name and select your profile. Upload or select the media asset you want to use and write your primary text and headline. Then select a call to action such as listen now and choose the destination, in this case, your playlist. Now, all you have to do is to send it off for approval. Pro tip, duplicate your ad set and change the targeting to a different targeting group to reach another pool of the audience and to determine what works best. We usually test one genre targeting, one artist targeting group and one festival targeting group. I hope this was helpful for you. Leave a follow if you want to see more content on music marketing and the business itself.